Hello and welcome to today's edition of Chart TV for the 30th of October 2005. My name is Malcolm Gordon and today we're going to look at the Nikkei, the benchmark stock market index for Japan. Okay, as you can see the Nikkei took off into a very bullish uh, move. The stock share market boomed in the 80s. Uh, this is a low in 85 at around 12,000. At 12, 13,000. This is the high at uh, roughly 40,000. Some uh, five years, four to five years later, and then the market promptly crashed. It fell from this high of 40,000 down into to uh, a low of 14,000. Some two to three years later, August 92. I have the low marked here as, and then it fell into a trading range and traded between 14,000 and 22, 23,000 for several years. So it sort of moved sideways for a couple of years, made a high in March of 2000, uh, just as as the S&P 500, NASDAQ and Dow did, and then uh, started to make a break support here, and then made a series of lower, lower lows and lower highs. The market fell, the Nikkei fell into a downtrend. Uh, it's uh, interestingly, notice how our previous support here at uh, 11,400 became resistance. Um, that that uh, that's quite common for support to become resistant, old support to become new resistance, and new resistance to become old support. So uh, no, sorry, old support, <laughs> old support becomes new resistance, old resistance becomes new su support. So uh, you can see here that uh, this old resistance level became old support level became a new resistance level here. And it market pulled down, made the low here in uh, April of 2003. And what's got me uh, interested in this market is that it's gone and matched the previous high, pulled back and made a higher low. It's then the market has now gone and broken through that previous high of around 12,000 and has taken off. So it looks like that A, the downtrend is over and B, the market is moving into an uptrend. So the market's looking quite bullish. Let's switch to the weekly chart now. Uh, you may notice that I tend to move from the monthly to the weekly to the daily chart. Uh, I do this so I get a, a good strategic view of a market and then I move to the tactical view. So uh, for example, if I can see that a market is in an uptrend on the monthly, weekly and daily charts, then there's a very high probability that that uptrend is going to continue. Uh, conversely, if, for example, a market is in a downtrend on the monthly and weekly charts, yet in a short-term uptrend on the daily chart, then I'd be extra, extra cautious when and if I went long in this market because I know that the predominant trend is down. It's bearish. So something to consider, something to look at. And that's why I always, I always take a strategic view, the, biggest, the big picture view of any market. And I recommend that you do that whenever conducting a technical analysis. Uh, okay, now... <laughs> Let's take a look at what's happened with the Nikkei. It's uh, on the weekly. Okay, you can see the downtrend here. It, uh, let's mark some levels in here. It looks like that this was a major resistance level, which I would imagine it would act as a support in future. But this market, th this trend is quite strong, and we can see that this market hasn't come back to... Uh, normally, when a market takes off into an uptrend, it'll come back and retest previous uh, previous... Uh, resistance levels which act as support but in this case because because this market is so bullish at the moment so strong I don't see it coming back to retest the 12,000 level uh, let's take uh, say this this um, resistance level here of 10,800 you can see here that when the uh, Nikkei was in a trading range uh, throughout 2004 it came back and retested this level several times retested it here acted as support retested it here acted as support retested it here acted as support so old resistance the resistance around this level had become new support and oh look retested it here in 2005 May 2005 retested it twice brilliant that's a pretty strong support level uh, we can also see here that old support here at around the low of 9,500 also held up here. That also acted as support. So the 9,500 was another support level that it kept retesting. And it acted as 9,500 acted as resistance here when the market was in a downtrend. So old support became new resistance and once again became old support once again at 9,500. So it's very important to mark your levels and watch these levels as markets gravitate to them. These are, these are like uh, 
These are magnetic. Prices prices gravitate to these levels because people remember these levels. They remember what they remember the figures that they buy and sell the market at. And when when the uh, price gets close to these figures, that's where they place their orders. So it's a, uh, I guess you could say it's psychology playing itself in the out in the market. And that's where technical analysis helps us to, 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 to see where these levels are. And so we can uh, base our trading decisions on them and make better informed decisions. Okay, let's, uh, okay, so the market is clearly in, it's gone and made a uh, high, high low, high high, high lows once again. Uh, and it has broken out of this range and it's gone to make higher highs and that's a very fast move up. So I expect it to... Uh, I'm not too surprised to see it pulling back and consolida consolidating around these levels because it's it's made a very very fast move. Uh, let's switch to the daily chart and see what the short term holds for the Nikkei. Okay, we can see that once it broke this resistance level at 12,000, it it accelerated rapidly and it pulled back, and it never retested 12,000. It it sort of a uh, touched 12,200. Uh, once, sort of twice, uh, but it never looked back. It, it sort of the market was very, very strong. Uh, polit uh, political events that have transpired in Japan, uh, I guess, uh, uh, people are starting to get bullish on Japan again, and that's showing in the Nikkei. And uh, as you, the market just has really taken off quite strongly. And then I'd mark thirteen thousand eight hundred uh, in as resistance, and the market is in a short-term corrective move. It's made a low. A lower high, lower low, and I imagine uh, this tail is actually quite, quite likely. Let's zoom in and get a closer look at that. That's uh, that would indicate that's quite bearish to me. That would indicate that I expect a reversal at thirteen thousand five hundred. Uh, a round figure like that, I take as a, a resistance level. But in the long term, this market is looking good. Uh, in the short term, I expect this market to pull back and retest, at least in the short term, 13,000. So, in conclusion, I expect this market to pull back to at least the 13,000 level in the short term, but in the long term, This market's in an uptrend. This market's moving higher. I feel it's about to encounter strong resistance around the fourteen thousand level. You can see it's it's uh, this figure that's acted the the this figure of fourteen thousand has acted as resistance. Well, it's acted as support in the past. Support around this level resistance here and I expect it to act as resistance here again so in the short term I expect the market to pull back consolidate and then take off again breach 14,000 and take off again next target is looking to be around this level here 16,000 which is acted as a support here support here support here and support here so long term things are looking bullish short term I expect this downtrend to play out the short term downtrend to play out a little longer yep righty ho one to keep an eye on uh, my name is Malcolm Gordon thanks for watching uh, any questions or comments Feel free to uh, post it on my blog site at uh, pollocks.biz forward slash chart TV. Thanks for watching.